Hello everyone. Welcome to the first lesson in this course, Design of Reverse Concrete Column. So, before you can properly design a reverse concrete column, you first need to know the type of load a column is going to be subjected to. So, as you can see, a column can be subjected to two types of load. The first type of load a column can be subjected to is purely axial load. So this is when the members are undergoing only axial load. So we call these columns. So it is basically when we have just the gravity load acting on the column. So it is going to be experiencing just axial load. Second type of column is when the column is experiencing both axial load with bending moment. So this is when the members are undergoing axial load with bending moment, and we call these beam columns. So it is basically when a column in a building is experiencing gravity load and it is also experiencing lateral load like the wind load the the earthquake load etc so the column the gravity load is going to be um, acting as the lateral load so it is going to um, produce a bending moment to the column while the gravity load which is the self weight of the column is going to be um, acting as axial load to the column so these are the type of load a column is going to be subjected to. So the first one is purely axial load, while the second one is both axial load with bending moments. So now we need to take a look at the type of reinforced concrete columns which we are going to be designing. So basically you need to know that there are three types of columns which a structural designer is going to design. The first one is the square columns, the second is circular column, while the third is rectangular columns. So as you can see on the image on the right, the first one is the circular column, the second is the square column, while the third is the rectangular columns. So these are the three types of columns a structural designer is going to design in a building. And this is going to depend on the designer choice. So the designer can use square column, it can use circular column, it can also use rectangular columns. So this is going to based on what type of column the structural designer thinks it is going to be more economical or what type of column the structural designer thinks is going to be safer when they design the column on the building. So this is going to be on the structural and the designer preferences.